Hey everyone, it's The Saint coming to you with another challenge video. This time it's from YouTube user 744Dante has challenged me to get 50 or more downs with the M4. So thank you 744Dante for that challenge. Uh, we'll start off here by flanking the other team, getting uh, one or two easy downs. And um, I hadn't really used this gun before. This is... Uh, Maybe my third or fourth game using it after the challenge. Um, I have another YouTube video coming actually uh, here in the near future where I was using the basic version of it with no upgrades or mods. And uh, uh, now I'm using clip capacity. I've unlocked that. And it actually turned out to be uh, pretty good. It's a good combo with the Enforcer with reload speed. Um, pretty much was never wanting for taking taking down three or four of them at a time. Like you can see here, I take out two guys and KO them on one clip. So that's pretty nice. Um, we were five, we, I think we started out this match down four versus five, but after maybe the first hill we got a fifth. But then, um, I think for a good portion of the match we were three versus five, and they lost one towards the end and ended up with uh, three versus four. But uh, you can see here I was uh, going up and this guy was just on the opposite side of the map from the hill hiding back there. So he kind of caught me off guard. My teammate comes in and gets him and I'm asking him to pick me up. But then he just leaves me there and jumps down into another gunfight to die. So anyway, my whole team is over here on the opposite side of the map from the hill. And it's like, hey, come on, guys, let's go. So uh, we were able to eliminate them here pretty quickly. Came in with the clip capacity, took out a couple of them. They're down in here. KO them. And um, I don't, I didn't love this gun, the M4. It's okay. It doesn't hit real hard like the low S. Uh, it doesn't fire super fast like maybe like the AK or P90. And it's... It, it just, uh, it's not quite as accurate as either the low or the AK, so uh, as here I <laughs> tried blind firing. I, I don't usually like blind firing at all, but uh, we're trying out these new guns, doing challenges, I've been trying it with some of them, and it usually just gets me into trouble, uh, like here. And, th and then I went to aim, oh and <laughs> I should have just aimed down the barrel from the start. That guy was able to get me down with a P90, which is the most annoying blind fire gun. You can see here we got our fifth player in now. We capped, so I decided to uh, go and try and flank them through the horseshoe. I was feeling bold. I had two C4s to protect me. You can see here they're starting to push, and I wish I had waited to let them push past me, all of them. I probably could have come in behind them and killed all three or four of them. But I slowed this guy's push down with the C4. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, th I'll throw another C4 to protect myself and get rid of this savior. But then this guy was just hiding oh, back there, not no. shooting at all. Thank you, Gallo. <laughs> I don't know what he was, was doing, but it fooled me. Luckily, my him. teammate uh, came in. He, uh, he bailed me out, so and I remember thanking Gallo. So that's a great teammate. I mean, if you're not using revive packs, at least uh, he was using Helping Hand 3, and so that's a great teammate. He kept me alive for about half the hill. I waited just a couple beats. I knew there was a player over in this vicinity. Gave him time to run past me. And then from there it's just an easy down. So, almost got shot in the back there. I am running uh, Jin as I have been doing on these uh, challenges. I thought this was a clever C4 here, but either that guy got out of the way in time, or it just, I just didn't throw it quite far enough. But uh, I have another uh, good one here around the corner for him. We'll get a nice wipe here. Two down here. Switch to the M4. Get another one down. I see another guy respawning down there on us. We'll take out a fourth player. So I do have Jin. It's great for escaping trouble, but it's also great for uh, you know getting back into the fight and getting into hills where it's uh, maybe being contested and such. 
So I was actually just uh, going around trying to find someone and this guy was randomly firing below me and like I said with the blind fire it almost got me into trouble there but I got him down to about one shot so the periphery of that C4 got him. But they're capping the hill but that's alright. We're ready to... We're, we're in a good position here. A couple of my teammates are on one side and uh, I'm coming in behind. Now what I didn't take uh, into account is a couple guys I took here. out before. And they respawn back behind me and they dropped a sniper, sniper bot, bot and they were able to take me out. Too. Now, this is why I highly encourage taking out sidekicks as fast as possible. Because number one, it's annoying for the player that spawned it. <clears throat> but also, I mean, look at this sniper bot. There's no players up and he's holding off our whole team. And I threw that C4 to protect my teammates, and I thought there might be multiple players over there. So it enabled me to take on two, and now here a third with uh, no problem. Now C4, uh, I feel like it's not that difficult, I mean, but there is a lot of strategy involved with it. I think it, I personally think it should be an extra loadout point, you know, on par with grenades, because it is so useful. But you can use it for defensive purposes, offensive, like look at this, I set these guys up, I toss it right in the middle of them start shooting the guys on the periphery so if they run away the edges my c4 blast are still gonna kill them this guy charged me for some reason but that's why we have the enforcer on and I didn't actually get these downs there with the Enforcer, but here was a great use of the Jin to flank them. I mean, they were not expecting me to come in aggressively like that from the side. Now, I was trying to get as many downs as possible with the M4, so I sh I mean, if I weren't doing that, I would have gone in and thrown the C4 first before firing and completely surprised them, but it's all good. I think we can still take them down. We backed them into that corner. And then uh, enjoy this. It's me actually winning a blind fire battle. <laughs> I don't recommend it. So I see my teammates have uh, handled things up here as well. So I decided to go around the horseshoe because I think they're spawning in that bottom right corner. And I'm going to come in and try and help shut down that charge with them all spawning together. And uh, works out. There's two down here with a third coming in. I'm basically able to shut down their whole team force them to into that eight or nine second respawn and then they'll have to charge in again. Uh, I like this map, Prison, and I like this hill particu in particular because it forces a lot of action and from lots of different sides there's actually a lot of different ways to play the uh, hill. Hunter. Uh, somebody popped a hunter there. I definitely recommend go for headshots on uh, on sidekicks. I was definitely playing very bold and aggressively. I got a little greedy there, but my teammate with helping hand three came in through in the clutch. I mean, that's a great teammate right there. switch to the M4 or the enforcer temporarily until I can grab those ammos now they are capping the hill but it's all good and I have almost 3,000 bucks and I have this gin to pop so I can get straight into the hill and start uh, eliminating them now this guy right here I shoot at him a couple times and then I've gin behind them and by the time he has his camera turned I mean he's pretty much almost dead now they they did have me uh, down to about one shot, but I was able to gin out of trouble, and then over into cover, and then over into a flank before they even had any idea. I mean, they totally lost track of me. As I do get blind fired down there, <laughs> as you see at this point, I'm 40 downs with four deaths. Uh, we're three versus five, but we're okay. My team does a great job finishing them off as I spawn back in. Now I had a feeling they were spawning over in this corner 
So I went over there, but I thought I could sneak up on them, but they happened to... They spotted me, and uh, ended up just targeting that savior because I knew I was going to die, and I was trying to damage that. Get them to waste their money since we were at such a disadvantage. I accidentally uh, hit a glitch there with the Spirit of the Djinn where it shot me a little bit faster. Definitely did that as an accident. Um, it happens, but no harm. I don't like those glitches that people use, like the speed glitch and such. Um, it's definitely not an intended mechanic of the game. And I don't like it. But we'll get uh, down on that guy. It was a... Uh, Looks like a noob trying to melee. Man, I thought I was gonna down this guy right here, plus a couple saviors, and didn't realize I was gonna get shot by three people all at once. <laughs> but they cap, uh, so I immediately throw on the gin to go in and uh, get the flank as my two teammates coming from the other side. Try and get rid of them as quickly as possible. And with the chaos of that Indra, I mean, nobody had any idea my C4 ah, was crap. there. This guy did get a down on me with the Pack 80 around the corner because it no does ducks. have improved accuracy when you're in cover. Well, it happens. Oh, good job by my teammates helping. Uh, and uh, I thought they were going to spawn over on this side, and I, my teammate was following me because I had said as much. But I was wrong, but we got back over in plenty of time. I actually got a nice little flank here on their team. Now they were spending all their money here. You can see all the sidekicks they have out, so went ahead and used my gear on them, wiped out two of them, plus a savior, and now it's just the brute up. My teammates, credit to them. I mean, they did help nice. focus down that brute, so it's a great job. So, still have 2300 bucks and a gin, and uh, we're uh, capping this uh, victory hill, and uh, we're holding off this Talk rush here. Got him. And my teammates are back in the hill, and uh, plenty of money left over unused, and we were able to pull off the win with a three-man team. They did have one leave here at the yeah. end, so it was three versus four. Thank you again for the challenge. Final total was 53 downs with seven deaths and 25 assists. Uh, thanks for the challenge. Keep them coming, and uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed it.